The DP600 exam has changed. Are you ready for it? In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and dive in to the DP600 change logs and see what has recently changed so you're best prepared to take the exam. DP600 is an amazing examination, lots to cover about Microsoft Fabric, but the tone, the audience, and even some of the content has recently changed from the exam. Now, any type of Microsoft certification, you can actually check out the changes on the Microsoft website. If you go to Microsoft Learn, learn.microsoft, and you look up the exam itself, you're gonna have access to what's known as the change logs. The change logs are gonna show you what is different about the exam versus what is still the same. Thinking about the DP600, you're gonna notice we've got a little bit of a name difference here. You might be accustomed to seeing the DP600, the Fabric Analytics Engineer-based exam, but here we've got implementing analytic solutions using Microsoft Fabric. The exam itself has the same number of questions, the same amount of time, the same score, you name it, but the content and what its purpose has shifted. You'll notice here, if we scroll down past some of the regular kind of introductory stuff, we're gonna see the skills measured as of November 15th, 2024. Most of these examinations get an update about every year, and this one was particularly crafty. You'll notice in the audience profile, that looks a little bit different than what you might be used to. In fact, if we scroll down to our change log, we are gonna find that the audience profile has had a major change. That's because the audience profile here, as we read through it, is all about designing, creating, and managing your analytical assets in Microsoft Fabric through semantic models, data warehousing, lake houses, you name it. You'll see that the roles are preparing and enriching the data, securing and maintaining your solution, and implementing the semantic models. It also goes on to say that you need to know how to query with some of the languages and work with partners, engineers, you name it. Basically, if we boil this down, there's been a shift for the DP600 and the DP700. The DP700 is the more engineer heavy examination where the DP600 has been a little bit rebranded more on the analytical side. The data analyst role can be pretty pivotal here. It is still Microsoft Fabric, don't get me wrong, but the audience profile has shifted in those directions. We've got two exams, the DP600, the DP700, and the change log will reflect that. You can go through and see the skills at a glance and everything, but really the major changes are reflected in this change log. What I've done is I've taken this change log and I've flipped it over to a slide so we can better understand all of these changes. Oh my. I've highlighted in kind of an orangey red some of the major changes and we've already gone through number one, which is that audience profile. That's a pretty big one and it has downstream changes for the rest of the exam. Next up, we'll see plan, implement, and manage the solution for data analytics. This is really in the skill area of maintaining a data analytic solution, a little bit more streamlined, and that has been a higher percent of the exam. So you wanna look at more of this long-term maintenance and optimization. So you should expect to see on the exam more questions about optimizing the model, optimizing performance, and hey, it's been working for a long time and then all of a sudden it broke. Or even deployment pipeline questions of maintaining that whole process and then preserving it once it's in production. We also have plan a data analytics environment that has been deleted. You might see some of the planning aspects in things like deployment pipelines and some other organizational structure kind of questions that are there can be kind of grouped into others. But as we see here, that as its own is not present for us. Next, implement and manage this environment. We have here implement security and governance, implement workspace. Basically here, what you're gonna notice is there's been a shift 
a little bit away from this broad kind of maintaining and the environment space to more of these security-based questions. Do I think that's a good thing? 100%. Because a lot of the security questions we know security roles from maybe you've already taken the PL300. You kind of know the general look and feel of the exam, what roles should be placed, role level security, object level security, item level security. We could see a little bit of a pivot to that in particular. Managing the analytics development lifecycle, we've got maintain. So again, it's a lot on maintenance of when you've created something in Fabric, what do you do with it? What happens when stuff goes wrong? My opinion here is you see thousands upon thousands of people and organizations shifting into Microsoft Fabric. They've implemented that solution and now they're hitting into a whole host of how do we maintain it once it's been created. I think that's just kind of the general scope of what's going on and what I see. And the exam has done a really great job of actually reflecting that for anybody that is going to be certified with a DP600. We also have creating objects in lake houses and warehouse has been deleted. You know, it says it's deleted, but we're still going to play around in lake housing and warehousing throughout this. We've got prepare the data. We've got a little bit of an increase there for data preparation. You can see a little bit on the cleaning side, that ETL process, the E and the T a little bit here in the beginning. Next up is some of our big major changes. So let's go through this block of three major changes here and talk about those. First off, we've got copy data is now get data. Major change here. This is a little bit more broad because we're not thinking about like copy into and some of that movement, but even more of thinking about the basis of getting data. How do we connect to data? What are some of these sources? Whether we're working with a data flow, we're loading it into one lake, our lake house, what you might be doing. So get data, luckily, is kind of nice because you might already have a little bit more expertise in that area. On to the next two. We've got transform data, still transform data, but that is still going to be pretty heavy in this overall look. Optimize performance is query and analyze the data. So you're going to need to be able to still query the data using sometimes SQL. You might see some PySpark for transformation questions and even being able to just get the data frame to show for you in that end. All right, we've got a couple more, but before we finish up here, please let me know in the comments down below, what has your experience with the DP600 been? Have you noticed these changes? When you went to recertify, did you notice anything? Are you planning to take it? When are you going to take it? Let me know down in the comments down below. And as always, it's a great time to smash that like button and hit the bell if you haven't already to stay totally up to date with everything Microsoft here on the Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. Couple more small things here. We've got a little bit more of an emphasis on crafting a good semantic model. That is a must. Hopefully you have a little bit of background with that already. Makes this exam to me a little bit less engineer focused. And I think because of that, data analysts will have a better time with this exam. I know I took it very early on, right when it came out of preview. And it was, uh, it was a bit of a doozy. There was a lot of like questions that really were in this kind of of the fabric engineering side of things. You had to be really well prepared, learn some PySpark, brush up on your SQL, you name it. All right, we have a couple of small changes here, but the last major change for us is optimizing enterprise scale semantic models. It is still the same, but we have a focus on large scale semantic modeling. What are we going to do with large amounts of data, large amounts of rows, and in that large format versus that small format. Okay, that's the main idea behind some of the changes here. A little bit of the audience profile and the mission with that split in the DP600 and the DP700. I want to get you access to some practice questions. Here I am at CertXP. 
P on the Pragmatic Works on Demand Learning, and I'm already looking at the DP600 class. Now, what's great about this is you might go to Microsoft Learn and you're gonna see all of these different things you need to do. That's a lot. Now, what all of the team has done at Pragmatic Works is we take this and we actually break it down a little bit more topic by topic so you can fully grasp one thing and then move on to the other. We also scaffold it so it starts out a little bit easier and then we up, 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 up the difficulty until you can finally answer those really, really challenging questions. So instead of having to struggle with, okay, what might I be asked about here? You can come on here, check out some of these practice questions right here. What's even great about it is there's a final exam. I can take this final exam and right then and there, I'm right into some question practice and these do mimic that exam environment. So here I've got one. In your data analytics platform, you configured incremental refresh for your semantic model, timely question, considering they've increased the number of efforts in semantic models for the DP600. You've got this matrix. You are gonna work with a data source as well. What might you do? Now, here's what's great about this. You can actually have the question narrated to you. I can autoplay the narrator. I can even go into some settings if I wanna up the speed. Hey, I gotta go faster. And you know what? Whatever my answer choice is, I can submit said answer and I'm gonna get an explanation here. I even might have a video explanation right here. We are constantly updating and changing it. Keep going, right? Maybe I'm talking about another one. I move on and on into these next questions until I start getting more and more of these here. So this is really, really great practice as you go through these questions. Okay, those are some of the changes to the DP600 examination. Hopefully you find them helpful and into your favor. I really want you to be able to pass this exam. So check out CertXP for one-to-one -one question practice. You're going to get question and explanation for everything on there. Also keep a lookout on the on-demand learning for a full DP600 brand new review course with me, Mitchell, Zane, Manuel, other members of the Fabric team here at Pragmatic Works. All right, I'll see everybody in the next one. And remember, stay pragmatic.